Today's adventure brings me to St. Petersburg, Florida. As of recording of this, August 22nd, Sunday, 2021. Tropicana Field. Current time, 11.33. First pitch is at 1.10. Gates usually open 90 minutes prior, so just in time. About seven minutes by my watch before doors open, and there's a pretty decent sized crowd here, more than I've seen in recent games. Welcome everyone. Adam DeWu here, Tampa J. So you are wearing an appropriate t-shirt that you just purchased today. It's very appropriate. It's a kind of a little bit of uh, the movie The Natural homage in a way. And Wander Franco as well. The slugger, Wander Franco, man. Right, the, we, we saw his first game here and saw the first home run. I always have to like to reiterate that. This is the third game, the last of the series against the White Sox. It's all tied up. Chicago White Sox and the Rays. It could be good. I think it's going to be great. And I think Rays, well, I can't say that, but I'm hoping that Rays win tonight. I'm feeling very confident. We have outfield seats. Yeah. $20, which is the same price as parking. Not great. too bad. I had $14 seats the other night. You were not able to attend, but you're back. I'm back. You're back. Back and ready to watch. Oh, you got baseball. your glove. I, bring... I got my glove, yeah. I didn't bring my glove. I got it for both of us. Okay, you catch you catch one and just give the ball to me. Okay, that sounds fair. I'm inviting you to join me in Tampa Jack. Shall you? And I am pretty dang excited. There is a there is a, a nice little congregation of people here waiting for the gates to open. This might be the day I finally get to see the wave at Tropicana Field. Yeah, that, it could happen. And to be completely truthfully honest, I am glad this is inside because it is kind of teetering on 90 degrees here the Tampa Bay, St. Pete area, and very sunny, not many clouds in the sky, so be nice to be in the AC. Now, not every stadium is the same of what you can bring in. Here at the Tropicana Field, there are no bags allowed of any type. No bags. You can't bring cameras in. Just no tripods, they told me last time, no tripods. Now, the last game I attended here, I witnessed the sweep of the Orioles out of four games. This is the third game against the White Sox, so could be a could be a good luck sign for me to be here. Hopefully, hopefully I help a little bit by being out in the outfield. And being greeted on the way in, of course, always always good to, to enter Tropicana Field. And every time I do, I like to say hello to DJ Kitty if he's out front walking in and give DJ, DJ Kitty a fist pump. And over here, got the mural of Raymond. And over there, there's DJ Kitty as well. And there's Tampa J over there next to DJ Kitty. You saying hi to DJ Kitty? Yeah, he's right here. That's DJ Kitty all in his mural form. He's dropping the mic over here. Nice. He's dropping the mic and walking off stage because Rays are going to beat the White Sox. Yeah! It is now 12.03, an hour and seven minutes till first pitch. There is no batting practice at all whatsoever. Uh, some players out here in the outfield even throwing the football around, which is kind of interesting. Got a football out here. And a couple other players just kind of tossing the baseball around. Preparing an hour before game time. And as far as I can recollect, this is the first coffee I've ever purchased at a baseball game. A piping hot caffeinated beverage has been acquired. Since there's no batting practice, got a little time to just kind of meander around and scope out the landscape. And walking back out onto a field level, noticing the ground crew out taking care of business. I always like to give a shout out to the grand ground crew. They work pretty, they work pretty hard. The players get, get all the glory, but the grounds crew, without them, no, it would, there wouldn't be a game, so notice how the guy out there on the dirt, he's got a riding lawnmower style, while the guy here in the, on the, on the, the, on the, it, the, the straight infield, he's got to kind of do the, the pulling mechanism, so he has it a little, a little tougher. Now, I know I'll never be able to be a baseball player, especially at my age, nor did I have the talent when I was younger to play pro ball in the MLB, but it would be pretty neat to drive one of those around on the field. Now, I did work for the Houston Astros in Kissimmee, Florida when they spring train there, and I worked in the little hot dog stand, the little food stand, but I could see at some point maybe being a, an usher or something. I think, I, yeah, I think I'd make a pretty good usher. There's Raymond. Hello, Raymond. How's it going? Oh, I like your shoes down here. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I gotta put the camera in this hand. Give you the, the secret handshake that way that way and then boom boom fist bump it nailed it thanks for teaching me that raymond as it get, gets closer to game time just kind of noticing it always makes me happy when you see players who interact with those in the stands whether it be signing autographs you know, it's just kind of good it kind of makes makes someone's day when a player acknowledges them and you know, a little wetting down of the field here where the grounds crews out or even white Sox player over here playing catch with 
put people in the stands. It's kind of definitely, definitely leave a memory for someone. And about 20 minutes till first pitch. It is 12.50 as of this moment. And the ceremonial first pitch is about to happen. The ceremonial first pitch with Raymond behind home plate. Someone out there on the mound throwing out the ceremonial first pitch. If this is any indication compared to some of the other games I've been here, the food court area right before the game starts is a lot busier. I got a little warm from drinking that coffee, so I'm gonna get myself a, got myself a little water here, a little, little Dasani, a little salt water. Just did the national anthem. Time to play ball. Gotta start making my way over to my seat. Out in the outfield, I'm looking over here at the bullpen as the catcher is getting the... Oh, oh that went by him though. And luckily there's a there's that chain link fence behind. And I'm also noticing the seats that I that I got are already filled up. Someone's already commandeered them, so gonna end up just uh just kind of seeing how it goes and, and grabbing maybe some seats down here. Alright, Rays are taking the field right now. There is some real hype out here. I got Brett Phillips throwing a toss up. Oh, right over there. Oh, oh. The way I kind of see it when it comes to Here and, and then we can. Wait, someone's got our seats. And that's totally fine. It's okay because we're going to move around a lot. That's for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, places to stand and sit. There's in the stadium. This still. is the most people oh. I've seen. The top. That was first pitch. By that way. was first pitch. Yeah. Most people I've been, been to a game here at Tropicana Field. I'm really loving the excitement. Oh, that should have been a strike. The crowd does not like that. Come on, up. All right, now Rays are up. White Sox taking the field. Ray's about to have their first at bat now. Got some power hitters up now. G Man up to bat. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh no. That's a pop up. Oh, there we go. Got a double. <laughs> Got it. Oh, yeah. Just to kind of show the perspective, I was here a few nights ago and I sat up there in that upper deck section. And I was pretty much the only one that was up there. I was like maybe one of half a dozen. It's pretty, pretty full up there this afternoon. Yeah, definitely a decent attendance. Well, decent for Tropicana Field, that is. Chicago's back up. I think I'm gonna go get myself some chicken tenders. Oh, that looks pretty good too. Cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get one of the, the chicken tender baskets. Oh, that's not good. That is, got it! That was a catch in center field. Great catch. Right here at Bird and Batter. Oh, you know what? I was thinking like batter, like yeah, it's batter like a like a baseball batter. It's like clever, like play on words maybe, or maybe I'm just really confused by it. But I am gonna get the chicken tenders and fries, fifteen dollars. Okay, I have acquired mine. I went ahead and got a ice cold Coca Cola there. This is the souvenir little tray, the little bowl that has the chicken tenders and the fries. I got some honey mustard. The interesting thing about, oh, I didn't get a straw. You got oh, the straw. You need to get a straw, man. I need to go get a straw because what, what do they do with a straw? You put the straw inside the soda and then you set the basket on top and the straw feeds right up through the center. Okay, I need to go get a straw. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta do this right. Took a little time to get the food. Now making the way down the third baseline. Okay. Ray's got a man on first. Is that a foul ball? Yeah. Oh, he got it. Dang. This should go down as either the most amazing thing I've ever seen or the most ridiculous. This could end badly. If it's you got the, you got, oh, that was a, that was a Are you going to hold strong to, to the uh, idea? I know what they said. Look at that. Another big hit. Another run scored. Oh, yeah. Off the Meadows with the RBI. On to the fourth inning now. We got the grounds crew out there taking care of business. Yeah, game's moving along quickly. Three to nothing. Raise up. Raise up. I can hear a helicopter flying over the dome. Oh, oh, bouncing a 
up, bouncing up. Oh, oh yeah. A little, a little Phillips foul ball. That's a souvenir right there. That's a keeper for sure. I would like to have a Brett Phillips foul ball one day. Or even a home run ball. That'd be that'd be cool. Also, a little warming up in the bullpen for the White Sox though. Got a pitcher warming up. Number 45. That's up in the rafters. Ooh, way up there. Got him. Yeah, it almost got lost in the rafters. Okay, it's a mascot race. They're gonna pass the baton now. Passing the baton, DJ Kitty. It's DJ Kenny, go, 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 go! Oh, the, it's a chicken one! Or the, what? Dang, DJ Kenny. Moved over to the first baseline now. They got, Ray's got someone in the bullpen. I believe they're gonna take this pitcher out and put in a new, a new pitcher. Umpire going out to the mound, tell him to speed up the process and get this game moving. Oh, there are some Let's Go White Sox. Chance going from over there, met with some boos. And now some let's go rays. Kind of back and forth. Kind of back and forth right now. Most of the white White Sox chanting is going over there from the third baseline. That's the visitors dugout. Oh yeah, some excitement here. Three and two. Three and two. Everyone's cheering. Oh yeah, some, even some stomping going on over there. Get a little strike out. There it is! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Nice! It is now bottom of the sixth. The guy that you're wearing a shirt for, Wander Franco, could be a home run! No! It's, a dunk, it's off the wall! Off the wall! Shirt. Oh, this is good. I can see the wave kind of starting to formulate over there. Look at that. The wave. Well, it was kind of going. Looks like someone over there is attempting to, to get it going. There it goes. Okay, now which way is it going? It's just kind of stopping there, though. It's just only that one section. Yeah, see, it didn't go to either side. Okay, get it going again over there. Get it going over there again. Count it down. Get the wave going. Get it going, right here. Okay, got a man on first and second. Two outs, Brett Phillips up to bat. That's a ball. Okay, full count now. Three and two. Oh, walked him. Walked him in. Bases loaded. It's go time. Is loaded. Opportunity for some runs or even a possible possible grand slam opportunity. Let's move back over to moved over to right field just in case. Oh, ooh, that's just where we were. To zero. Six to zero. Dang. Bottom of the sixth. Oh, oh something's ha something just happened out here. Went ahead and got some ice cream from Mr. What's it called? Mr. Softy? Mr. Softy ice cream here. In a helmet. Alright, seventh inning stretch just happened, and my ice cream is extremely melting Me too. quickly, even inside the dome. Thank you, Mr. Softy. There are zero outs, two men on base, first and second, and Wanda Franco's up to bat. They walk the last two batters. There we go. Is it? Foul ball, foul ball. Double play. Okay. No, it's safe. He made it. He made it. He's safe. 
is now eight to nothing. Got another pitcher warming up over in the bullpen, the White Sox side. Heading out to right field now. Oh, there was a, oh, oh, got another. Nope, okay, man on first and third now. Dang, heading out to right field. This might be the last at-bat for the race. Well, let me rephrase that. Not last at-bat, but last series of at-bats. Because if they go on to the next inning and strike the White Sox out after this, after this one, they win the game. So, going over to right field. All right. It is nine to zero, bottom of the eighth. There's a pop up. One out. Another base hit. Now man on first and second. Oh yeah. Razor doing good. And it's a bat once again, number five. Wonder Franco. Ooh, ooh. There he is. Top of the ninth now. White Sox are down. Zero to nine. Three outs remaining. Game's over. All right, that's it. One out remaining. White Sox down zero to nine. Two outs. We're the best team of baseball, baby. Best team of baseball. I like the sound of that. And that's a win for the Tampa Bay Rays against the Chicago White Sox. It's over, nine to zero, the final score. And the cowbells are out in full effect. Everyone going into the, the store over there. You can always count on the cowbell. <laughs> yeah, nine to zero, winning the series against the White Sox. Two games to one. White Sox won the, the first one. Rays won the second and third. Got a great team. Pretty dang exciting. It's very echoey here, right here on home plate in this little, I think this little veranda, as you call it. You go up to first, go over to second over there. Here's the pitcher's mound. Third base, right up in here. And St. Petersburg, yeah, the excitement is strong. You see the postseason within grasp for this team. Most definitely. This is probably the, the, the most people I've seen in a game since I've been coming to a lot of the games out here. Which is awesome. emerging into the sunlight at 4.30 p.m. is really a, an odd feeling after being inside and being used to, to night games. Now, I have been to a day game during the day before, but it is kind of an interesting feeling thinking you're gonna walk out into, into the shroud of nightfall when it's daytime. Yeah, pretty good. Definitely a good game. I'm glad I came to game three of this series here at Tropicana Field, St. Petersburg. That's gonna do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is Good turnout.